Well, howdy, 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 near new senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends. And I don't know what sound effect, if any, I had there this morning. It is 827. It is late, and I'm going to explain why. Hokey smokes. Still, though, first off, fan on in the window, door open, fan in my bedroom, blowing cooler air out, fan at the end of the hall, windows open. It's going to be hot today, so... Try and keep it cooler. I didn't do such a good job yesterday. I had other things on my mind, unfortunately. So that's that's good, great. Now normally what I've been doing is every day I record and edit and render and then the next day, I've been doing this for like a week or now, I occasionally get it done, where I do the next day stuff a day before so that when it comes up to like Yesterday I would have recorded, today it would have gone public, and then I just would have recorded for tomorrow. That's what I've been trying to do. I didn't get that done, so yesterday still looked normal. I had my vlog, and then I had a Daggerfall video. That part was normal. The rest of it, not so, unfortunately. I have low-level generalized anxiety. A lot of the time, I don't have any issues. More times, not more times, that there's a chunk of not having an issue. And then there's further chunks of just low level anxiety. And then there's smaller bits like yesterday where it's not low level. Low level anxiety isn't bad. I can live with it. It's not wonderful, but it's not horrific. Yesterday, I had an anxiety attack. Oh boy. Just that feeling. I mean, at least it's not panic like I used to have. I'll try to stay focused. I'll try to stay focused. When I have an anxiety attack, and I don't know what it's like for everybody else since it's all biological in my part, and I imagine it's mostly biological for everyone else too, but I just start getting that a trickle of adrenaline going through in my body because my mind has suddenly become convinced that something horrible is going to happen and I can't stop it. It's going to happen. It's coming along. I can't slow it down or stop it. Something horrible is going to happen. Low level, not that bad. I can ignore that feeling because I can understand fully and push over it and just go, I am being exerted on. This is not my feeling. This is a feeling being imposed upon me. It's not great, but I can live with it. When it gets mid or heavy, that's when a lot of adrenaline is going into my system because that feeling that something horrible is going to happen and I can't stop it is something horrible is going to happen and I can't stop it. And that's just medium level anxiety. When it gets to heavy level, we're up to near panic attack. And when I hit panic attacks, which thank God I haven't for a while, it is like a bucket of cold water poured on my head. And then I know for the next 20 minutes, hour, hour and a half, I know that I am going to fall down and die at any moment. At any moment. And I live in terror and anxiety and fear and awfulness for until snap. And then it just drains away. I wish just regular anxiety attacks worked like that. Because I had low-level anxiety building up as time went on. And it becomes harder and harder just to sit if that's occurring. And it was occurring. And then the afternoon hit, and I got mid-level anxiety, where I could not sit comfortably, but I couldn't go out and do anything because it was so hot. I had to stay inside, and my what I can do inside is limited, because now i got to be super careful of physical activity up here, irritating the squashed nerves in my neck. So my options were limited. And I lived with trying to do things here until I could go on walkies. And then, then I was able to work it off. And when I say work it off, I'm able to distract myself, to not 
think about things, because I can't think about a lot of things if there's light out, because I have to watch for traffic, and if things are happening, I'm, ugh, I can't think. I can't focus, especially when I'm anxious. But burning up energy, walking, moving, doing something, when I'm done, it's usually brought it down some. If it's low level, I can usually work it down to a lower level. Going out and doing something physical to distract myself, walkies, helps. And I couldn't for about six hours. So, I didn't get anything done, really, because I couldn't. I was busy just, uh, just a mess up here with a low level to mid level trickle of adrenaline always on because when I've got that feeling of, hey, something horrible is going to happen and I can't stop it, guess what that triggers inside of me on top of all the anxiety? Fight or flight. So I've got the I got just regular buzzing anxiety with fight or flight, a trickle of adrenaline. By the time I hit the end of the night, I was both exhausted and couldn't really relax. It was after two at night before I finally was able to fall asleep. 7.30 when I woke up this morning, and it probably should have slept longer, but I slept because I was exhausted. It is exhausting to be in fight or flight mode for hours. It is exhausting to have your body considering that something horrible is going to happen at any moment for hours. Now, I have been offered things like benzodiazepines, you know, like Valium, which they don't use anymore for stuff like this, I imagine, because that's horrible stuff, but benzos like Xanax and all that. The problem is, there's no real exit strategy for benzodiazepines. Once you're on a benzo, there's nothing that we really know how to get you so that you're fully free of them. There's no exit strategy for benzodiazepines. There's exit strategies for opiates. There's exit strategies for other drugs, but there's no exit strategy for benzodiazepines. And I don't want to go to sleep because I'm having anxiety. I want my anxiety to go away, but leave me awake. So I don't want to take something where I'm going to fall asleep. I don't like not being conscious in the first place for some weird reason, and I've hated going to sleep my whole life, which one of the reasons I have so much insomnia now as I'm older, probably a biological thing when I was a child, and now even so. But yeah, that was fun. So I got next to nothing done. I didn't get anything recorded like the dagger ball. I didn't get anything creative thought on. I was able to burn off some, some, of my energy by doing some things in the other room. But even though I've done a really good job of getting stuff done back there, getting stuff boxed up and thrown out, there's only so much I can do in the heap and there's just only so much I can do with all this going on in one go. And since all that stuff was flooding my body, all of my pain receptors and such were already a screaming. So, I got a whole bunch of stuff washed. I got a whole bunch of buckets that are now emptied out. When I first moved in here, like, a full third of my room was filled up with boxes from stuff that I had kept from my marriage. And then a couple years back, I went through that and got rid of a lot of it. Now that I'm going through it again, my room looks, aside from, like, the huge bed, it's a, like a two-person bed, you know, my wife and I used to live in not live, but sleep in the bed, so it's a big bed. But aside from that, actual stuff in there, aside from the closet that I have to go through, it's really empty. I am getting rid of a lot of my life and a lot of the life that I had with my wife. By necessity. So at least I'm getting a little bit of stuff still done. Hopefully I can get more done today, but oh! 
Normally, it feels like there's a dagger on the right side of my back below my shoulder blade because of my scoliosis pushing everything forward, and with the damage to my low back, everything isn't good. For whatever reason, it feels like there's a knife in just below my left shoulder blade today. <sighs> Joy on that. And I still haven't taken my meds, so who knows what my blood pressure is. And yeah, I guess that's why everything is kind of still hurting extra today. At least it's not horrible. That part's good. So yeah, at 10 minutes and change, I don't really have anything else to talk about because yesterday was so not fun. Nothing fun happened. So yay, or even halfway productive. Hopefully, I'm going to do better today. I feel better today. I don't have any of that. I don't even right now have low level anxiety going on. I feel just, oh, I feel irate because it's 837 and I don't have anything to talk about and the day is going on so late, but I don't feel anxious, anxious. Thank God. So hopefully it's just going to be, hopefully no to low anxiety today. Because that would be good. Ugh. Checking the date and the time, of course. Today is the 2nd of August. Yay! And I forgot that yesterday was supposed to be a don't use Twitter day. Just to show irritation at Twitter. And so many people that I used to follow aren't on Twitter anymore, which I can't blame them, but with all of the various smaller social media sites, there are some of them that people have migrated to where they're saying, bye, follow me if you can, but you need an invitation to go to that, that social media place. So you can't follow them. So in my case, they're just vanishing. There are a smaller number of people. There are people that I used to engage with all the time on Twitter that are just gone and I don't know how to find them anymore. I wish Elon Musk wasn't such a freaking idiot. You can be born into money like Musk and be a freaking idiot like Musk. So, Joy. Past that, I am just going to try and survive today. I am going to do, uh, going through the closet if I can, physically and mentally and heat-wise, because i got to get this all finished, boxing up and do the best that I can. Soon, like within the next week, I have really got to start looking up places I can move to and try and call the so my social worker and the housing people today, so we shall see what happens. Past that though, yeah, it's not great, it's not wonderful. Last night, one of the first things, not first things I did, middle things, I woke up in the middle of the night for a short period of time, I actually took my arm off the pillow that I normally have it on for the past two frickin' months, and I just slept like this, without it, with it, my arm just hanging. It hurts right here a lot when I do that move. <laughs> but it's not as bad as I would have thought. I just wanted to get off the pillow because I'm tired of having my arm on a pillow. So, there's some pain, minor regret, but not bad at all. Thumbs up for that. Again though, I am just gonna try and do what I can. So, because of the lateness and my arm and all this, I have not changed this list. Thank you still, each and every one of these people. These people especially, because they're on the list, I'm pointing at them. But thank you each and every person that is a Patreon patron. Without your help, I would be hosed like a Christmas monkey. And we all know that that is the worst way for a monkey to be hosed. Oh. So thank you each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to every person who has in the past donated to my PayPal or has donated to my GoFundMe. Yay, that is appreciated very, very much so. Now I'm going to go through and thank however many people have left me comments in the past 24 hours. It's never many anymore, but anything more than zero is awesome, so thumbs up and thank you. Calling on my Chrome, uh, which I have to enlarge so I can see it at this distance. Yay for poor vision. Jesse Koskinen, thumbs up, thank you. Always good to see you. 
And rain is nice, a very good thing. And if you, again, if you like Diablo 3, that's awesome. I mean, if you, I don't ever want people to not enjoy the things that they enjoy. Just because I may not enjoy something does not mean that other people should not enjoy it. Now, just because I don't enjoy Diablo 3 or Diablo 4, I haven't played Diablo 4, but I don't like what I've seen, doesn't mean that anybody else should not like it. If you like it, like it. That's awesome and great. So that was just a little mini rant in general, but in specific for you. Yeah, that's awesome that you enjoy it. Very, very cool. And then we have past the jelly who says, play RuneScape? I watched Josh Strife Hayes, a person I want to talk about again on another day, but he plays RuneScape on stream a lot. And in fact, one of the things that he's been doing on RuneScape is, is he's not playing by playing. He'll go on stream and he'll put his character on follow mode and then he will just watch and talk to the stream as his character just follows other players and gets experience and stuff that way. <clears throat> so I have actually thought of it. Thumbs up. So we shall see. And J-A-double-Y, thumbs up, thank you. And on the one hand, giving you a choice to turn off Roxy might have given you a sense of agency. But not giving you a choice on turning Roxy off in the game is just another way of them pushing the knife in your back and twisting it to make it hurt. So thumbs up on that. We have Big T. Thumbs up and I'm going to go back to Terraria or Minecraft here soon. I enjoy both of those games much and they are updating Terraria again. 1.4.5 so we shall see what happens. Thumbs up on that. We have Pot Blast. My SSI thing, I called up the SSI people. They've gotten my paperwork. It would seem all I can do is wait and then see what they send me. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to still be on disability or I'm going to die. So, yeah. We have David Mouser, uh, who gives me a good idea on Clark and Daw. So, I'm going to check out the games by Clark and Daw. Dodge V8. I don't mind playing horror games. I just, I can't really afford to buy any games at all, so all my stuff is largely older, older, older stuff, but I certainly wouldn't mind. There is Harris, greatly appreciated. 77 Arcturus, greatly appreciated. Definitely a thumbs up, and yeah, Paul Rubens, one of those lucky people, but, and ended up not being lucky. But thumbs up, thank you, greatly appreciated. And always good to see you in the comments. And RJ Mitchell, thumbs up, thank you. Uh, while I like the metal clanging sound, I don't think that should be a constant, so we shall see what happens. There is Hen Hen Henny Hen Hen, <laughs> thumbs up and thank you. Uh, Harriet Grib, greatly appreciated. And uh, Splat -ta 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 -ta. thumbs up, thank you much. Each and every person who has left me comments in the past 24 hours to get me out of my head, into the world, and dealing with real people, that is appreciated to no end. Well, as stated, Hokey Smokes, I'm going to try and be creative today. I'm going to try and record something for the channel for today. We shall see what happens. Maybe nothing today because i got to record for tomorrow. We shall see what happens. I honestly don't know right now. Now, like I say, I'm feeling pretty good right now. But anxiety and panic don't really always give you any warning that they're coming. So who knows what's going to happen. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is indeed a very, very good thing. Thumbs up on that. 19 minutes and change. Not bad for nothing to talk about, huh? Hopefully I didn't just yammer and be boring and awful the entire time. Still, though, you take care. I will see you on the flip side. That I'm trying to adjust my hand for the perfect point of contrast against my background. <laughs> so, uh, you take care, and I'll talk to you later.